The following video is approximately five minutes long and includes audio description for people who are blind or have low vision. Title card. This presentation was prepared under federal financial assistance provided by FEMA's grant programs director at U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Points of view or opinions expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official position of policies of FEMA's grant programs directorate of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Title card. Cal OES logo. Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Host in wheelchair. Hi, I'm Richard DeVelder. Chief of the Office of Access and Functional Needs at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. I'm speaking to you today working in from the California Center. State Operations Center. The typical response during Classroom an earthquake, children climbing under drop tables. cover and hold on, may not be the right choice for those of us who have disabilities or are older adults with other functional needs. Office during earthquake. Earthquakes strike suddenly, without warning, and they can occur at any time of the year day or night. Map of US Nearly seismic every zones. state and territory in the United States Seismograph. is at moderate to very high risk of earthquakes. Post and office. In the event of a major earthquake, the damage they can inflict Classroom could earthquake. include power outages down power lines. and down power lines, Building on fire. gas leaks, fires, Building rubble. broken windows, and falling objects which are dangerous for everyone man in and can be a greater threat to people with disabilities and older adults. Elderly man on news. We must plan Ambulance. for our response as if no one is coming to rescue us, Police car. because they are not. It is unrealistic to believe Firefighters that there are enough resources Police car. for everyone to receive assistance. Host and office. Those of us who have disabilities or are older adults need to adapt earthquake preparation and response as the decisions we make could save our lives. The following simulation is for individuals who are older adults. Elderly woman okay, on phone kitchen. Okay, thanks for calling. It's nice to talk to you. Hangs Bye. up and begins walking to another room using a cane as earthquake begins. Earthquake. <laughs> woman falls to the floor lying on her back. Two hours later, grandson comes through the door and runs to her side. Grandma, are you all right? Well, there was an earthquake and I fell. Can I help you up? Are you injured? I don't think so. Woman sits up. <sighs> I'm all right. Host with woman outside home. I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, I had a little fall in there, but I'm good now. So what would you like older adults to know and how to plan? If you're alone, you need to wear a bracelet like this. That's a great idea. It was a good thing your grandson knew what to do. Absolutely. So that's a good important yeah. message for older adults is make that's sure right. your family knows to come check on you because you were laying there for two hours. It's yep. a long time. Right, a very long time, uh-huh. I feel good now. Very good. If you can't get up, don't get down. That would be a great t-shirt slogan. I agree. Host and we have just seen an example of how a person with a disability or older adult should respond during an earthquake. Have you thought about this scenario and made preparations for what you would do? Let's always remember that we are not helpless and we can take control of our plan and our response. Ambulance. Act as if no one is coming to rescue you. You are in charge. A simple buddy system is not lady enough. Helping man in wheelchair we need to build a support team, which include neighbors, man helping coworkers, senior lady off floor. friends, and family. Have practice sessions with them to ensure that they can help you. Know what you need and be able to quickly provide instructions to others on how to assist you. Plan for all disasters. Think about what needs you would have after a disaster. Man himself on floor. Would you need to evacuate or shelter in place? He's texting on phone. What if technology fails? What if the power goes out? and you no longer have self-service. No service. Then what? Two girls under table. If you have a family member in with room specific signing. emergency preparedness needs, think about all the different scenarios that could affect them. Be realistic. Five minutes, the office. government does not have enough resources and responders to help Child everyone. In wheelchair loading in if van. you need to evacuate, how can you leave the area? Man in wheelchair what stairs. if you cannot independently get downstairs? Do you have family, neighbors, or friends to assist you? Practice with earthquake drills. To know it is to do it. Being ready to evacuate or shelter in place is the key to staying safe in an emergency. Emergency items. In your plan, don't forget to build an emergency kit with essential items you need to keep with Backpack you. Being put in this includes medications, Pill bottles, any consumable medical supplies, a whistle, whistle. and something very important, Thumb drive. a USB drive that includes important documents like your most recent medications, driver's license. copy of your driver's license or ID, emergency contacts. Post in office. I really hope you take this to heart. This is about you saving your own life. Cal OES logo and web address www.caloes.ca.gov End of video.